Hi, welcome to my next video. This time I wanted to show you how I sketch in my Moleskin. I had this sketchbook Moleskin, the Art Plus series one, laying around on my shelf for some time now, but recently we started a new project with Kana which is called City of Waves and I wanted to do some concept sketches for it, really rough ones. And this is the first one. At this stage I'm trying to keep the lines really loose, I'm exploring and trying to get the hang of uh, the whole picture and either way I will erase them a little bit and do them again with the pencil. I'm trying to keep the tools here as simple as possible so just one mechanical pencil for the sketch and one fine liner for making some details stand out with black lines and a simple brush. I could also use a water brush when I'm outside. With this sketch I'm again trying to get this kind of weird balance between a fantastic world, some place that I made up and realistic Japanese buildings that you can kind of touch and feel. The whole idea about a world building or setting exploring project like this one is just starting with an idea and then creating and creating more as you go. And sometimes you end up with a place or illustration you didn't actually quite plan for. And this is the fun part. For coloring this sketch I'm using the 26 colors Holbein set. The set that I made based on the one that sold in the Studio Ghibli Museum. I changed the colors a little bit but the basics the same. You can see how I made it in one of my videos. A good skill of observation is needed for a project like this, even though this is a kind of fantastic world, a place that does not exist. You need to base it on real world so it doesn't feel fake. For example, if there are some people around, you have to think what do they eat, where do they eat, where do they do their shopping, do they have a car, uh, what car do they have, where do they work, and so on and so on. And such the world gets more and more fleshed out. But the data for it is mostly from observation of everyday life. Ok so the sketch is nearly finished, I will just put black lines with the fine liner on the things I want to make more visible. The Moleskine paper proved to be alright for this kind of sketches, especially when you use watercolor with not so much water. I think it would be also alright for very light gouache paintings, but heavy watercoloring not really suitable for this. It's good for the pen and for the pencil and it actually allowed me to get this kind of flat look I was looking for. This is how the finished sketch looks like. I'll be doing more in this series and I hope you will enjoy exploring this setting together with us as we make it. Ok that's it for this video, as always feel free to comment, share and subscribe and you can also support me on Patreon. Most of my private work like this video also is possible because of your support on Patreon and I'm really grateful for this. Ok that's it for this video, see you in the next one, bye!